Hey guys, this is X802 Gaming. This is my second commentary, and it's going to be going on a much bigger channel than mine. The name of the channel is God GFX. And so, if anyone's watching this commentary on God GFX, it'd be really nice if you would come and subscribe to me. I will be posting a lot more commentaries now, mostly because. I now know that I can use my Dazzle and play in HD. Um, I didn't know that I could do that before, so that was my main reason for not recording because I absolutely hate playing in standard definition. Like standard definition, I think is so bad. Like everything is just out of perspective. The colors are way different, and everything's fuzzy and grainy. So I really dislike that, but. Now that I can play in HD, I have no complaints. I actually recorded for about five hours tonight, so I got a lot of clips and things. I might be making a little mini detage of all the clips I got. So if you subscribe to me, you'll definitely be seeing one of those soon. I also will be uploading all the videos for my clan. Uh, my clan's Fuse Gaming. I talked about that in my last commentary, but. Um, my clan is Fuse Gaming, like I just said. We have recruited more members since my last commentary, so our clan is starting to grow. I'm hoping our clan's gonna make it big, like, we have some really good players on our clan. Our record right now is 6-2. and two. We lost to a clan called FRXG and a clan called Always On Top. They were pretty good. It's also our first two clan matches we ever played together, so we're just really learning how to uh, play play together, you know, what our different play styles were, strengths and weaknesses of headquarters, but now that we've gotten that all together, we've won six straight clan matches, so we're definitely getting a lot better. If you have a clan and you want to challenge us, uh, send me a message on here. And with your uh, gamer tag or your leader's gamer tag or however you want to set it up, I'll message you my gamer tag if you want, whatever. Um, but one thing I wanted to talk about: we played a clan called Nitro. I don't know if they have a YouTube page. If I find out they do, I will post the link on my channel to their page, and you go and spam all the hate you want on their wall, because. They challenged us to a 2v2, and I'll give it to them, they did beat us the first match that we played them, but, or first round, like, we played a best two out of three, they beat us the first round, but then the next one was on our host, and we beat them, and then we beat them again on the third round, and they said it was because of two, it was because of a 2v2, and they didn't have good connection to us, so, we let that one go, and this kid is blinding hard here, but... So we played them again today, 3v3, all three rounds on their host, and we absolutely demolished them. And towards the end, they were using USPs and hard scoping us and everything, and we still beat them, but they refused to change their record to 3 and 1. They have the record on their bios, which I personally think is kind of stupid to put that there. No one really cares that much. No one's going to look at your bio, you don't really have fanboys, but, um, they refused to change it, and said that we lost, or we hard-scoped, and all this bullshit stuff, but, uh, it was just dumb, but, whatever. Do you guys ever see anyone named, like, Nitro Methods, I think was it? And they had a fanboy on their team named Optic Reload. Uh, and we're, my friend jokingly said, oh my god, are you really an optic? And he's just like, uh, yeah, what do you think I am, some kind of fanboy? It was just, it was so dumb. The kid wasn't even good, like, I think he won like 3-7 and seven in a game of search that we played for a clan match. It was ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, another thing I noticed, like, when we were playing clan matches, uh, whenever we let the other team host, they always, for some reason, seem to pick, like, their lag, like, player with the worst connection to make us lag, to give them some kind of advantage, I mean, 
I guess some people call it smart playing. I think it's dumb and cheap. What do you guys think about that? Like, I think it's just shows that you're really desperate if you need to you know, make the other team lag so they can't kill you right off and stuff. So it's hard for them to kill you. I, mean, I guess that's why you're supposed to switch hosts every round or something. So you get kind of a host advantage. But like, we played one clan the other day. I'm not going to name the clan because I don't, I don't really want to put down any clan. But we're playing them. And third round, or last round of the match, I guess. We ended up winning the match, but they picked some player he had ridiculously bad hosts like we were all two barring it and it was just so hard to hit people but it's so dumb when people do that like you can just play fair I mean I know it's a clan match and everyone wants to win those cause like, everyone wants people to know their clan's good and get their name out but I mean I don't I don't personally think that anyone's gonna think your clan's any better because you're making the other team lag like I think if anything if I saw a clan that was lagging or making the other teams lag to win I would just think they're bad and right here I actually sound hoard this kid pretty good I love my headset uh, it's the first shot that's why I knifed the air it made me look kinda like an idiot I think like I hard scoped him and missed but whatever, I still got the kill, and yeah, I, I love my headset. Like my friends always say, they think headsets are cheap, like not playing fair. But I personally just think it's playing smart. I guess that's kind of like the lag thing to each their own way of playing, I guess. But this is gonna wrap up my commentary, I guess. So. Just let me know what you think of this kind of gameplay. I personally find sniper gameplay interesting, but let me know what you want in the comments. Uh, subscribe to me if you're watching this on another channel. And yeah, I'll have another commentary up soon.